Hey everyone, welcome to your 8th C++ Qt game tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and replace the rectangles that we previously had representing the player, the enemy, and the bullet with actual images. Now, Q provides two classes for displaying images. Um, one of them is called the Q Pix Map, and the other is called Q Image. They're both pretty much, um, in terms of what you'll see, they're identical, but they're efficient at different things. For example, the Q Pix Map class is more efficient at drawing onto the screen, whereas the Q image is more efficient for um, input and output, and also if you're going to be manipulating um, maybe like single pixels. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and use, uh, we're actually going to use both of these classes, but for the most part we're going to be using Q Pix Map. Now this, uh, these two classes, Q Pix Map and Q Image, are just general ways for Q to represent images. If you actually want to represent an image inside a scene, then you have to pass the QPixMap inside a QGraphics PixMap item. So instead of using the QGraphics Rect item, let's change it to QGraphics PixMap items. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and include my images into the resource file. Recall that a resource file is a very handy way to include all of your game resources, such as music um, and images, inside your executable. So let's open up our resource file, and then um, let's add a new prefix. Remember that a prefix is just a folder, and we want to call this folder images. And then inside this, we want to add some files. I just went online and downloaded a bunch of um, pictures, so one to represent the background, one for the bullet, one for the enemy, and one for the player. So I'll include all of those, and here they are. Okay, there are all my images. And now the first thing I want to do is change the bullet from a Q graphics rect item to a Q graphics pixmap item. So let's include the proper header file. There we go. I'll just copy and paste this. And we want it to inherit from Q graphics pixmap item, not Q graphics rect item. Um, there we go. And then let's go inside its constructor. And before, the way that we drew the rectangle was actually, um, we just called the set rect. We drew a rectangle, but this is no longer a Q graphics rect item, so we can't use this. Um, so now our bullet class is a Q graphics uh, picks map item. So we actually have to set the image that it will use to draw, basically. And the way we do that is use a method called set picks map. And then inside this method, you pass a actual PixMap pix map object. And then the PixMap object takes a string to a file. Now we're going to be accessing files inside a resource file. So we have to start with a semicolon or a colon and then um, a forward slash. Now we're going to go inside the images folder of our resource file and we want to get bullet.png. Okay, um, now let's go ahead and see if the bullet changed. There you go. Okay, now let's go and change the player and the enemy. So we'll start with the enemy again. Let's change it from a Q graphics rect to a Q graphics pix map. Make sure it also inherits from a Q graphics pix map. And then let's go inside its constructor and actually draw it. So here instead of set rec, once again we get rid of this and we do set pix map to a Q pix map object which just takes a string to a file. And we're going to do images slash um, this is enemy.png. Make sure I spell that right. And um, you want to make sure you have your path correctly, otherwise. Uh, no error message is displayed, it just doesn't show the image. It can be a frustrating bug. So double check your spelling in this part. Okay, and now let's go ahead and also um, change the player. Once again, we have to make it inherit from Q graphics um, picks map item. And then let's go inside the player constructor and draw it. So set picks map, Q picks map, and then let's um, make it go inside a resource file, inside the images folder of our resource file, and we want the player.png file. 
Okay, and um, this should be it for those two. Let's test it. I might be missing something, though. Okay, I am. Let's see what's wrong here. Oh, I forgot to change it from inheriting from a Q Graphics Rect item to a Q Graphics PixMap item. Also for the player, okay. So make sure when you're changing these from a Q Graphics Rect item uh, to call the Q Graphics PixMap item also. So change it both in the header files and in the implementation files. So I just want to run this right now um, and see if it works. Okay, there we go. So both the player, the bullet, and the enemy have graphics. But notice that the um, enemies are going backwards. Let's just rotate them. Right now the rotation point, the point along which they rotate, is upper left hand corner. But we want to move that to the center. So let's go ahead and do those two things. So let's go inside the enemy header file. Let's go inside its constructor, and then right after we draw it, um, I want to use a member function called set transformation. I believe it's called yeah set transform origin point, and then this basically tells you around which point to rotate the object. And since my enemies are 100 pixels wide and 100 pixels tall, I'm going to go 50, 50 because I want them to be rotated at the center. Okay. And then I actually want to do the rotation. You just use a member function called set rotation. And I'm going to do 180 degrees to flip them. And that should take care of that. OK, um, additionally, I wanted to change the background. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, um, OK, so it's, I forgot, I kind of lost. Uh, track of my thought but anyways let's go inside the game object which holds everything let's go inside its constructor and then here right after we create the scene um, so the scene has a background and you can manipulate that background by default it's white but you can change the color or you can make it an image I want to make the background an image um, basically a, an image of the ground um, so I will use the method called set I believe it's called um, background brush yeah so set background brush and you use a Q brush object um, now we have not gone over Q brush objects but I will um, go over this in future tutorials but basically um, for now just type it in um, it's it will basically use this image that you pass inside the brush to draw the background with so inside the brush constructor we're going to um, basically pass an image which means we also have to include Q image. Now I've already done that, but you'll have to include it on your copy. Um, so pass in an image inside the brush constructor and then pass this brush inside the set background brush method to actually set the background of the scene. So let's make an image. Um, actually, I'll just do it inside here. It's a little frozen. Okay, right here we're going to um, make an image, it's called Q image, and then it takes a file name. So we're going to do um, images slash bg.png. And now let's go ahead and run this. And there we go. So we have a background image, we have a player image, we have a bullet image, and also enemy images. And this is uh, pretty much a complete game. A very simple game, but it's still complete, and all the fundamentals are included. Movement, shooting, um, timing, graphics, sound. And um, this is it for this tutorial. Uh, I'm probably going to stop continuing with this game, but I'm going to start making a new game. I was thinking about a top-down role-playing game where you will have a character who can move around, talk to other characters, um, collect weapons, gain experience, etc. But you guys can let me know what kind of games you're interested in so we can learn to make those too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.